What's going on guys? Welcome to NBA 2K15 My Career Game number 6. We had a contract extended to 4 more games. So let's see if we can uh, keep playing how we've been playing. Hopefully we can land a, a spot on the roster after these four games, whether it's with Utah or damn. Or whether it's with some other team. Let's focus on this game right now, obviously. Because this is the game that matters at the moment. Alright. I don't think my camera's right. Yeah, it is definitely not right. Where's 2K? There's 2K. Yes. Ah, so much better. I'm out here a while back, had to fight to get his shot, but he impressed the team enough to get another 10 day contract. Yeah. Take it a step at a time if you're in his situation, and as much as he'd like to start celebrating, he needs to keep his focus and continue to find ways to help this team out. Well, it wasn't too long ago that the Suns were selling first round picks. Now the complete opposite. This team stacking up draft picks as they look to go young and rebuild. Nice. Shoots from 14. Good. Good ball movement. All right. Pass in the another stop. Right where it needed to be. Phoenix has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Well, I had a chance to catch up oh, with crap. Coach Jeff Hornacek. Uh, that was my fault. Alright. From the outset of this game. That means being in attack mode and not passing up any good shots that you get early. Oh yeah, nice, nice. Phoenix really seen from top to bottom. New GM, first time head coach, and Jeff Hornacek. Yeah, and they did an outstanding job. They're pushing to create a very positive culture. They're really giving everybody an opportunity to show what they're doing. Got locked down. They surely don't score. And it's only a two point. Damn it! I don't understand that. They're freaking it. A score. The Utah Jazz, they come in off a loss to the Grizzlies. Woo! Ten points. All right. You can't dwell on the final score in that case. You have to think about the things you did well and build on those. Plumlee sets the pick for Thomas. Elbow shot. Moves back up. Plumlee, no luck. Excellent challenge. He had a hand right in his face as he took that shot. Yeah, you could see. Ah. Uh, just fantastic defense. And here's one so. One second left. Oh, well, we already missed our first shot, unfortunately. Well, it's been a tight one so far. As we get this. Twenty-nine, twenty-three. All right. A different look for Utah. Suns trail by six. Miles Bumley Steve buried on the bench in his rookie season with Indiana. But the Suns saw something in him, and they would not sign off on the Luis Scola trade without Plumley coming back in the deal. Well, it was a good move on their part. Plumley stepped Damn. up in the starting center position, played very well, and uh, has a bright future, really, All right. because he fits right into what they're trying to do. And so in the game for the Jazz, Hunter, he's in a point guard. Steve Novak is out there with favors. Then it's Exum, and it's Hood. Fuck! Oh my god. I'm doing bad. I'm holding on to the ball for too long. I need to let the ball out quicker than I am. Damn it. look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Jazz. Well, they've definitely had the hot hand from the three-point line so far. Always nice to start out like that. 
You know, we've seen them bearing their fair share of mid-range jumpers. There we go. Me. That's a good start for them. The shot's good. A lot better. So now I just have to keep it like that, and I'll be good. Last season. That being the case, how big was Plumley for the Oh, team? shit. I mean, he's a big-time glass eater inside and an above-the-rim finisher to help force the D to collapse. He's a guy that I think has tremendous upside and is extremely athletic for a front-line player. Shot clock at six. That was a tip. Jeez. All right, come on. And he gets it to go. He is just so good from that range, guys. You know, never mind with the height advantage. Ooh, have him. Plumley still working to expand his skill set, but you don't find I'm still hitting it late though, just slightly. I need to uh, pull off a little, a little bit sooner. He kicks it to Green. Pass to Plumley. Fade away. And he overshot that one, missing. You know, that mid-range jump shot is not his strong shot. Nice. He gets a good look like that. And Nicely again, done. For him. Good shot from Hunter. And it's a nine-point jazz lead. You know, he started out hot, and he's only gotten hotter. He, he could be in for one of those games. And it's Budso off the drive. A rebound by the Jams. Favors has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Ah, I, I should have pulled the trigger a little bit sooner. Oh well, that's all right. That's all right. We're not losing. We're not losing. I said, but we're down by one. Are we down by one? All right, men. We've done a good job in the first half of taking the momentum and being assertive with our style of play. I'm not going to single out any one guy. All right, so we're up by. Nine. I can't say enough about the work you fellas did. Alright. And now the third quarter about to get going. Substitution on the court. Let's go, you're up. My time. Oh, still up by nine. Points. PJ Tucker, he's checked in for Green. And Thomas subbed in for Eric Bloodsoe. We've got Marcus Morris. Progic is out there with Isaiah Thomas. And there's Hello, a not this four. And it's Tucker in at the three, the small forward. That's who's out there for Phoenix. We got five on the clock. Up top, Burke. Nice. By Thomas. Here's Burks. It's good. The assist that time from Burke. Burke's got assist number five here tonight. All right. Eighteen points, and we're in the third quarter. Defense did not look very good there. And the Jazz with some changes. Exum comes in for Burks and lights out. Sub. Whatever. All right. Got to be something about Washington. Producing these five nine. Damn, I mean, you got it. You're talking Nate Robinson or Isaiah Thomas. Honey, make a ten point game. Yes, you can. Play the game with the confidence and swagger of a power forward. It's amazing. Isaiah Thomas is just a fighter. He's adapted and thrived at every level. Slightly late. What the hell? All right. I gotta get the touch back on. He's outplayed his competition and continued to improve. Drogic with it, now defended by Exum. Thomas goes in. Here's All right. Oliver. What is wrong with my release? Boy, they were ready for him right there. I mean, totally collapsed. Slightly late. Okay. I got to get my freaking release down. And for Thomas, a success born of maturity and <laughs> That was terrible. That was really bad on my part. Across the country from his family. I mean, that can't be easy when you're only 16 years old. He said he hated it at the time, but it's really kaboom. I mean, that's the other one too. So kaboom, two kaboom. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over and over. That was the ninth straight point from behind the arc, Clark. It feels like they they're finding the holes in this defense. Right wing. And Tucker kicks to Thomas. I what? Shot from 12. Oh, no. And he hits the jump shot. Thomas got eight here in the quarter. His shooting has been so good today. He may have to take it upon himself to try to get his club out of this. Hole. Now I'm doing it too early. No good on the three. So for Phoenix, their last game, a win against Portland. You know, okay, maybe we should tone down the threes. Possibly. Possibly. 
just took the wind out of their sails with a, another three point for Damn. Run. Yeah, those bombs were really falling. Can he make it a 10 point game? Yes, he can. Whether it's Ginobili, James Harden, or the Dragon. That's Goran Dragic. Defenders seem to have a tough time. I did not want it. On that left hand of those kinds Give me the ball. Don't typically adjust well to keeping those guys out of the paint. Exum passes to Hunter. Problem. And he gets it to go. Lights out's got nine points here in the second half. And another three pointer to their second half total. Yeah, they caught that long range. I was on him. One of them. This quarter has brought out the best in him, fellas. Even though they're still trailing, he's been impossible to contain. What? No luck. Great D that time from Thomas. Dude! Are you serious? And Dragic has it in the corner. Off target from outside. Ah! Here's Hunter. No good on the buzzer beater. Damn it, dude. In a moment now, as we take a look at our state farm. I got this. Don't worry. Got, oh, I got plenty. Okay, so thirteen point game. Go Bear, he's checked in for Utah. Exum comes in for Trey Burke. Go, man, you made a pun of oh my God. For Utah, Exum and Burks, they're back. Rudy Go Bear is out there with favors, and it's Novak in at the three slot. Exum kicks to Burks. Feeds to Novak. Huh, see? I mean... And Phoenix will come the other way. They've been able to get out to this lead without really getting the first. What the hell? Out of him from the field. Phoenix making some changes. Miles Bumley's checked in for Marcus Morris. Morris comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Gerald Green in for Isaiah Thomas. Lights out checked in for the Jazz. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Quinn Schneider was saying to his team. He wants them running a disciplined, organized offense with an emphasis on setting screens and there we go. open shots on the floor. Well, that, that was fun. He also wants to see a patient offense, work for the shot, move the ball around, and as he told them, quote, if you don't see a good shot, find oh, someone God. who does. Guys, they're operating under the principle that it's never too late to fine-tune the game right. again. Kevin, over to you. Thanks, Doris. This is the bucket good. Yeah, these are the types of games where it's obvious one team clearly had the edge. Tonight, it's going to be a great win by a large margin. Hey. They had a fantastic play from the bench. Yeah, they did. Screw they you. Really one of their greatest Don't mess teams. with me. And so they'll stretch their victory total to 19 on the season. And this result will get them square in this season series at one game apiece. So important for them to get back a little momentum against an opponent who took them to task previously yeah going down two all seven right. would have made their third and final meeting of the season very difficult to win but now they'll go into it really liking their chances well you look back at this one and what an amazing no for lights out no, there wasn't god damn the timing is stupid every opportunity he got what's the issues the most okay Alright. And he hits the jumper for two. Boy, if they could have had this kind of run earlier in the game, it might have made a big difference. You know, I think a big reason behind the run, Steve, is that I'll take those shots from now on, I guess. I am in the fourth quarter. The game's almost over. Keeping the fans out of the game today, and the closer they get to the win, the quieter it gets. Yeah, we call that the sweet sounds of silence. They're going to savor this win as well they should. Every road win carries a little extra reward. That's his first personal foul. Really? Here's Green. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned it. I mean, we won. So that's good. Come on, give me the wall. Both free throws good from Green. 11 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's lights out. Takes a... Problem! And he gets it to go. 
Boy, they're extending their lead. It, it kind of feels like they're just piling on here as we come to an end. All right, nice to win. 88-74 on the road. So that's pretty nice. I'm happy with that. Yeah, 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 okay. So, 36 points, 2 red pounds, 1 assist, 14 of 22. All right. Not bad, not bad. We played pretty well, I would say, in my opinion. And the 74, like I said, on the road. It's a nice road win. Happy with it. All right. Come on. There we go. Oh, what? You've earned spark plug because you've shown the ability to be extremely effective off the bench as a scorer. This badge will help energize your teammates when you make big plays coming out of timeouts or coming off the bench. That's cool. I mean, I have shown the ability to make the planes like they said off the bench, so I am glad I got that badge. That's awesome. Only our sixth game in and we have a badge. Sweet. I want that three-point badge if there is one. Let's take a look at that real quick. Signature styles? No. Attribute upgrades view. So I just have it. Right? Okay, cool. Well, whoops. Um. Team Interest, I want to see if there's anyone new. Last time we looked at Houston, they were at 23. Oh, now it's at 29. No, no, it was at 27. Well, I mean, obviously our ultimate goal is to go to Houston. That, that's for me. So, we'll see what we can come up with. Hopefully you all enjoyed. When we come back next time, we will do game number seven and see what we can accomplish there. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next game.